would just share with you all this uh, the concept in Buddhism, which we don't talk about a whole lot, maybe not enough. And um, it's, it's very helpful to remember it. Um, the, the, the idea, in, and it's more the Mahayana Buddhism than the Theravada, but it's, 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 in, it's in that Buddhist stuff. The idea that, that there's a relative truth and an absolute truth. Hmm? That there's the relative and the absolute. And, in, uh, <clears throat> and uh, someone wrote me a question about the higher self. Uh, and um, one might say that the higher self is moving towards the absolute. But <clears throat> so um, the Zen people talk about the, uh, the, the uh, 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 box and a lid, and, and that would be the idea of the, that's a, a, a kind of an analogy to the, to the uh, relative and the absolute. So I, I would suggest uh, in some ways that when this person was talking to me about the secret, you know, and this, this idea of that you can manifest in your life the things that you really want. Um, you can manifest good things and wealth and happiness. And um, perhaps it, one way to help people who are like me who tend to be snobbish about that, maybe it, it's helpful to think of it that, is that that is a relative truth. And that it's, you know, that that's... Um, there's nothing wrong with that um, at all. Um, but we get really confused, I think, because we, we get confused about um, uh, what is relative and what is absolute. I do. I think that some of us live with one foot in the absolute and one foot in the relative, and we get very confused about, about where we are.